Welcome to this video. In this video we will learn about the derailment mechanism. Unlike automotive, wheels of railway rolling stock move on fixed locus that is railway track. This picture shows the pair of wheels on railway track which consists of a pair of rails. Derailment is a phenomena of wheel going off the track. This picture shows a derailed wheel. Derailment are of two types. The first one is sudden derailment in which reason is quite obvious like Broken wheel or axle Broken rail Sudden shift of load Sudden obstruction The other one is gradual derailment which involves much complex mechanism. It involves climbing of wheel flange over rail table. This picture shows the various stages of climbing of wheel flange over rail table starting from Tread contact Flange contact Flange tip contact Point of mount end Point of drop In railways, flanged and coned wheels are used. Coned wheels have self-centralizing property. It also facilitates in achieving differential speed at curve. Flange provides necessary guidance at curvature. At flange tip contact, there is vertical force Q which is also stabilizing force. There is horizontal force Y also which is destabilizing force. Beta is the flange angle. Mu is coefficient of friction between flange and rail. R is the reaction force at point of flange tip contact. Derailing force is equal to Y cos beta plus mu into R. Stabilizing force is equal to Q sin beta. Reaction R is Q cos beta plus Y sin beta. For safety against derailment, derailing force must be less than the stabilizing force. After solving this inequality, Y by Q should be less than tan beta minus mu divided by 1 plus mu tan beta. This is called Nadal's equation. For safety, left hand side should be small and right hand side should be large. It infers that horizontal force Y should be kept low. Vertical force should be kept high. Coefficient of friction between flange and rail should be low and tan beta that is flange angle should be large. Now we will discuss how safety is affected adversely. Following factors increase horizontal force. Increase in conicity of wheel. Thin flange. Track gauge variation. Irregular curve. Absence of super elevation at curve. Following factors reduce vertical force. Twist in track. Defective spring. Larger wheel base. Misalignment of joints. Poor packing of ballast. These factors increase coefficient of friction between flange and rail. Rusted rails. Wheels with tool mark on flange. Sharp flange. Increase in angle of attack which also depends on various factors like Thin flange Increased lateral and longitudinal clearance I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching the video.